Ukraine's Magora V-5 drones caused over $500 million in damages to Russian naval assets. Russia cannot use the remnants of Ukrainian naval drones to create similar ones as the country's best engineers have been developing them, stated Yevhen Yerin, a representative of the Ukrainian Defense Intelligence according to Ukraine Form. Previously, the Polish Political Science and Security Studies Journal named a Ukrainian combat naval drone, Magura V-5, the most effective during Russia's all-out war. The Magura drones hit 14 Russian ships and destroyed eight of them completely. The Ukrainian intelligence agency said the targeted ships include the Ivan Kors Russian reconnaissance ship, the Sergei Kotov patrol ship, Akula and Serna landing vessels, the Ivanovets missile ship, the Caesar Kunikov large landing ship, and various types of Russian high-speed patrol and landing boats. Enemy attempts to use the remnants or other parts of these drones to create its own drones are unlikely to succeed because the engineers who created the drones must be experienced and the best in this field. Work in this direction has been ongoing for years. Our developments prove their effectiveness and we are among the best, so it is unlikely that the enemy will be able to replicate anything like this, but they will try, Yerin said. He also believes that even if the Russians create their own naval drone, it will be what Ukrainian specialists made the day before yesterday. Because we are moving forward, developing and improving our weapons, Yerin noted adding, however, that the Russian military should not be underestimated. The topic of drones, including naval ones, is not new, but the current war has demonstrated their decisive significance in conducting combat operations and achieving success. Our drones have shown themselves in the best way, the main Directorate of Intelligence representative noted. Overall, the damage inflicted on Russia by the Ukrainian intelligence operators with Magora V-5 drones is estimated to be over $500 million. U.S. President Joe Biden has dropped out of the presidential race and endorsed Vice President Kamal Harris as the Democratic nominee. Biden made the surprise announcement on Sunday. The 81-year-old quit the contest against former President Donald Trump. It has been the greatest honor of my life to serve as your president, Biden wrote on X social media platform. And while it has been my intention to seek re-election, I believe it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and to focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term. Biden's decision comes amid mounting skepticism in recent weeks over his mental capabilities and his ability to effectively run a presidential campaign against his rival Donald Trump. It should be noted that it's the first time a US president has dropped out of a re-election run in decades. Ukraine is cornering Russians in drone war, the situation is getting worse for Russian army. The Ukrainian army is likely surpassing Russia in the number of drones, according to the commander of the Unmanned Systems Forces, Vadim Sukarevsky. Just in the first two quarters of this year, we have delivered six times more drones to the troops than in the entire last year. This is a joint victory of both the General Staff and the Ministry of Defense, said Sukarevsky. According to him, Ukraine is superior in drone production as it has a significant variety of maneuverable drones. We have over 165 different types of developments that are being tested and used on the battlefield. In terms of the number of drones, we are not losing and we may even be winning, he emphasized. At the beginning of June, the Ministry of Defense announced the creation of a new branch of the armed forces of Ukraine, the Unmanned Systems Forces. Colonel Vadim Sukarevsky was appointed as the commander. 
Since the beginning of this year, drone production in Ukraine has significantly increased. This year, the plan is to produce and deliver 1 million FPV drones to the Ukrainian armed forces. The Russian-Ukrainian war has taken combat drones to a new level, especially FPV drones, which effectively target enemy personnel and equipment, far surpassing the cost of such UAVs. FPV drones with video transmission function through a camera on the UAV itself stand out in speed, precision and control methods compared to other drones. Operators maneuver them using a controller and goggles providing a first-person view. While FPV drones are used for entertainment, panoramic video shooting and live event streaming in civilian life, they're capable of carrying payloads, being agile and changing direction swiftly, with some models reaching speeds of over 100 kilometers an hour. In the Russian-Ukrainian war, FPV drones refer to high-speed quadcopters used for reconnaissance, observation, delivering ammunition and even functioning as kamikazes, attaching a combat payload. In skilled hands, they become highly precise weaponry. Ukrainian forces actively utilize FPV drones across various divisions since the initial phase of the full-scale invasion. Armed Forces Security Service of Ukraine, Border Guards, National Guard, and defense intelligence operatives, among others.